So this week we're going to be doing an ocean landscape and watercolor. So what I did first is I went ahead and taped off my paper so it has a nice border. And I also went in very lightly and put in my horizon line. So your horizon line is going to be that line in between your clouds and your ocean. So you can also kind of put in where your shoreline is, kind of where your foam and sand meet. But I mean sometimes it's okay not to put that in as long as you kind of keep that in mind as you're painting. So first thing I'm going to do is paint my sky and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take some ultramarine blue which is kind of a more purpley blue and I'm going to make a nice puddle on my palette and before I start working with my ultramarine blue what I want to do first is actually wet my whole entire area that's going to have my clouds. So the area above your horizon line. So I've gone ahead and loaded my brush with water. I'm just making sure to do nice long strokes. And if you get an occasional hair in your paper, that's perfectly fine. We can always take that out at the end. So with my ultramarine blue, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start making the negative of my clouds. So that means I'm not really painting an outline of my cloud. I'm kind of just painting around where I want those shapes to be and making sure to use the body of the brush and grabbing a little more paint where you need to and you can do as much or as little clouds as you want to and occasionally if this happens where you get outside the lines that's perfectly fine because we're just doing the ocean right on top of that so you can kind of see how these already are starting to look like clouds so if you ended up doing too much sky for your clouds, what you can do is take a wet Kleenex, which I have in my hand, and what I'm going to do is just kind of lift up a little bit of the tops of my clouds. I could even make a little baby cloud down here in case I went a little overboard and got rid of the clouds I wanted. So, and next up, you can leave your clouds nice and blue and white, or you can make them a little stormy by going over and taking a little bit of burnt sienna and adding it to your ultramarine blue to kind of make a nice bluey gray. And what I'm going to do with that is just very lightly kind of put those at the very edges of my clouds so it looks a little stormy. And there you go, then you have your nice clouds. So and then while that's drying, what I'm going to do is rather than starting with the ocean, I'm actually going to move down and start working a little bit on my sand. So with my sand, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow ochre, which is this kind of nice sandy color. And I could add a tiny bit of regular yellow in there. And what I'm going to do is do a very light wash of that yellow where my shore is going to be. And you want to make sure that you don't paint in where you want to leave white. Like if you look at our reference picture, you can kind of see how there's that nice white foam, those kind of areas. You don't want to paint over those. And also one thing you want to keep in mind while you're painting this is typically you don't want shores to be perfectly straight. You want them to be a little bit bigger on one side of your shore. That just makes a little bit more variety and makes it more interesting. Plus most shores are like that. So you can see how I'm making my left side a little bit smaller and then my right side a little bit bigger. And I can also take this time to take a little bit of my sandy color and mix it with a little bit of purple. And the reason I'm doing that is because a lot of times you have a nice little shadow right underneath your foam and your wave that hits the sand. And I'm using purple because it's the complement of yellow. There you go. And if it got too dark, what I can do is take my wet brush and come in and kind of lift that up a little bit. So now that I have my sand all nice and blocked in, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start working on my ocean. So with that, I've gone ahead and mixed some phthalo blue with a little bit of ultramarine blue just to kind of 
make it a bit interesting. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna start at the very top of my horizon line. I'm gonna go ahead and overlap on some of those little spots that I didn't want on there. And you can always put tape down if you're worried about your horizon line staying straight, or you can always come back in and try and edit it later. So what I'm gonna do now is slowly work my way down and leave a little bit of white showing as I go down. And also I'm gonna take a little bit of green and mix it into my blue to make a nice turquoise. And you can see how I'm kind of dry brushing once I get close to my foam, and that's gonna kind of give that nice wave texture. And really when you're dry brushing, I'm just using very little paint. I'm just kind of letting the watercolor do what it wants to. So, and then once I have that, what I can do next is take a little bit more phthalo blue and underneath where I want each of my waves to be, I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow. And that's where I'm just kind of adding a little blue. I'm not really doing an outline, it's more just like a little patch of dark. And you can also put it in the back area, maybe if you didn't do enough of that nice dark blue and that'll kind of break up your ocean. So, and now I have the start to an ocean painting. So with any of these little blobs, like see these where they started to kind of blend in with my sky, you can avoid those by waiting a little bit longer before doing your ocean. And you can also come in and make that into an island so you don't have to keep those little blobs. So while this is probably a little bit drier, what I'm gonna do now is just kind of go back in again and make my shadow underneath my waves a little bit darker, just a little bit. And I don't wanna leave that harsh outline, so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more water, kind of fuzz it out like that. And there you go, it's a very simplistic ocean landscape. And you could always, you know, when you're doing your drawing, put in like a palm tree. Later on, I'm gonna turn this into a little island. So lots of possibilities.